In this video, we'll talk about Scanner. Now, Scanner is very advanced. It's because, uh, I mean, we, we had system.in.read, we had buffer reader. Then why we need Scanner? is because if you look at this code, it is not that easy. We should be using something which is simple to use, which is easy to understand. So what we'll do is instead of using this type of input here, I will use a scanner. Now, how do we use a scanner? We say scanner sc equal to new scanner. Okay, so that's how you get an object of scanner class. And it's just that when you create object of scanner class, first you have to import the package first. You have to say control shift O, it will import the package for you. So scanner belongs to a package which is java.util. Now in this scanner, you have to pass an object. So which object you have to pass? You have to pass the object which is system.in. So you have to specify that from where you're getting the input. Maybe you're getting the input from the file. Maybe you're getting the input from the network. You're getting the input from the keyboard. So you have to mention that you're getting the input from the keyboard by mentioning system.in there. Now once you do that, once you create the object of scanner, we can take the input, we can say n equal to, so there is, uh, so we can use sc dot, which is the object of scanner, we'll say next int. So next int is a method inside scanner which will fetch the integer value. The advantage here is you don't have to handle the exception. The second advantage here is you don't have to convert a string into integer. That's that's what we have done in buffer reader, right? right? So we have to take the input as a string, then you have to convert that into integer using integer to pass int. But in scanner, we don't have to do that. We can simply say sc.nextint. As soon as you do that, it will fetch the value and it will give, it will save that value into n. Okay, and we can simply print the value of n now. And if you're on this code, it is waiting for the input. We'll say 78 and you've got 78. It's not just that. In fact, not just only for integer. If you go to scanner class, there are lots of methods which we can use. Uh, methods like, so we have next int, then we have next, yeah, next long, we have next, in fact, we also have next line somewhere. So you can say we have next double. So we have all these methods which we can use. We can also have next big integer, which is the bigger integer you can use. So again, you can explore this class and you can find out different methods. So that's it. That's how you that's how you use uh, sc.nextint and that's how you use scanner class.